In this video, we're going to be talking about clothing customizations for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and how you can decorate some of your body while you are always stuck with the ugly ass uniform. So as a quick refresher, if you didn't know, if you press the right arrow on your controller, you'll open up the menu to change your outfit here. You have four uniforms, right? The winter one, which is my, my favorite of the, of the four ones. They, they're all terrible in their own way. And for Scarlet and Violet, they, they just swap the colors from orange to purple, which I, to be honest, I don't know. I really, I really wish we only had to wear this on school grounds. And while we're out in the wild, we can wear whatever we want, like we did in Sword and Shield. Yeah, anyway, let me show you where you can buy different pieces of clothing for at least the other parts of your body that you can customize, like your hat, your gloves, your shoes, your socks, your bag, and also shades or glosses. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are three places you can buy clothes and you can zoom into the map here. The first place is by the school, the Mesagosa. There are little shops here that look like little t-shirts that have icons like this, that have a different kind of clothes or, or a different kind of item that they can sell. So there's three stores at the Mesagosa. Then there's Keskarafa, which has a bunch of stores. I think there's like, eight unique clothing stores in Kaskarafa, which you just have to see like this. I am gonna be visiting each one of these towards the end of the video to show you what items you can purchase. The next town you can buy clothing items at is Lavincia, where the electric type gym was here. There's two clothing stores on the southern side and there is four on the northern side. So that makes a total of six clothing stores at the top over here. So, well, at Lavincia, I mean. Starting at the first store in Mesagosa here, this is Baggins. They sell bags here, who would have guessed? Now the bags they sell here are these circular ones. They kind of look like little Pokeballs and obviously sell them in all different colors here. Now in general, I'm only gonna show you the design for the first few colors. I'm not gonna show you every single one and I'll show you some of the unique ones if they are right at the bottom. Now the next store is just near there. This one sells caps over here. And when we go in here, we can find hats and caps and all sorts of things here. So you'll get like sporty caps over here, which look like, well, as you'd imagine, a sports cap would look like. So stuff like this in all different colors. There are some unique ones at the bottom, like for different typings, like fairy, poison, steel. You can like literally get one for every single typing. So if you like caps and you like certain types of Pokemon or you know the color of certain types, like dark type is gonna be like a dark looking cap here, which actually looks pretty cool. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab that myself. You can come to this store to get some nice caps. The store is called Cap Borg, as you can see at the top left at all times when I'm at different stores. They also sell Gatsby caps here. I, somebody for some reason wants to wear one of these. And also oddly enough, they have one beanie sold in the white color right at the end. It's kind of weird. Like they, they only have one beanie. There's other stores that have plenty of beanies, but this one is the only one that I think has the white one. The final store in the school region at the Mesagosa is rough and tough. And they basically sell a few more items than just one. They have the gloves over here. They also have hats and they have shades. Right, so they've got a bunch of plain gloves, as you can see here, just solid colors all around in all the different colors. You can also get fingerless mittens in various different colors, as you can see over here for, you know, customizing your character. The, the only problem is, is the uniform. The uniform in the middle just is like, destroys any type of color concept you want to go for with your character. They sell pom-pom hats here as well. So it's these big pom-pom hats, as you can see here. It's kind of like a beanie with like a little knob at the back. And the last ones over here, the last three have special unique designs, as you can see. And then they have the horn rimmed glasses that look like this in just various different shades, as you can see here. And as we scroll down, there's, there's really just like, you know, different colors, like some mixed black and red, black and blue, nothing super crazy. But if you like glasses, this is one of the first places you can look. All right, so let's go check out the stores at La Vincia. We're gonna go to the top Poke Center right over here and we're gonna hit the stores on the way down. The first store is this one over here called Seguro Style. Now this one is a very interesting store. They sell fingerless mittens in solid colors here, which is nice. I like the white and the black ones. I, I typically tend to buy the white and the black ones of all different colors. You know, if I want my character to be wearing white stuff or black stuff, I have the options to change. And you can see here, they've basically just solid colors all the way through. For the hats, they have very interesting hats, like retro jet helmets. Like, I, I don't know why these are in the game. <laughs> Honestly, like, like wearing a school uniform and stuff like this feels very weird. Like, why do we get helmets of various kinds, as you can see in the thumbnail as well? So for some reason, you have a extreme variety of helmets that you can wear. I mean, to be fair, I'm actually gonna be wearing one from now on because 
I, I'm a little bit bored of my look. I've had it for like a hundred and you know twenty hours or so. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna change what my character looks like. You also do get some here in different color schemes, as you can see here. Instead of it just saying brown or white or black, you can look at these ones here: item drop, fire and water, garden eel that have different. I, I kind of like this one. That's kind of funny, dude. Like is this is what you can see when your character is running around, just that that face looking back at you. I want that. That's kind of funny. And then you also get half helmets, which kind of, for some reason, remind me of like World War stuff. I don't know. Like th that's even worse. That reminds. This looks like war helmets, dude. It feels like my my character is going to war. But I'm gonna buy it. It looks cool. Maybe one day, one day we'll get rid of the uniforms, and I can equip my 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 trainer like a little soldier. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, if that those are some things you want to try. This one I find really cool. This is the one I'm wearing, the thumbnail. This is the racing helmet in white. It does come in different colors as well. I think this one's really cool. Even in black kind of works too, so I'm going to buy both of them. So yeah, this is where I got the helmet from the thumbnail. In case you're wondering, there's all different colors here that you can try. And of course, the different colored styles here. Racing helmet A, B. B kind of looks interesting. C... C is okay as well. I don't really do the crazy color schemes, but they're very interesting to have as designs options in the in the game for helmets, which was quite interesting for, for a store here in Lavincia. If we head down the road, we can head to the next store. And this one is another Baggins. Now, just because it's the same store as you saw in another region doesn't mean they sell the same items. They all sell completely different items. So you can see here, this one has these sport backpacks like this. I kind of like these ones. They kind of blend in with the winter type uniform jacket that I'm wearing. So, so it looks kind of cool. Uh, the black one's all right as well. I'm going to just buy it in case I want to do like a, a all white or all black kind of look. I find this one really cool. There's a sport backpack A where it looks like ribs on the back, dude. Like that is so cool. I just wish I had like a black jacket or something, you know, like black pants. I'm hoping there's an update or a DLC that just lets us change the uniforms, dude. Like look how cool this is, man. I can build a whole color scheme of of clothes customized to, to like my channel's color, like, you know, with the blue and everything. This one's like a cutesy color. Um, another one here, dreamy wash. Yeah, I'm assuming these are all going to be like, you know, just kind of like palette colors and it's soft and sweet probably something girls would like to use the next door just down the road as well is spec shack and this is where you're going to find some sporty sunglasses if you're looking for like sports sunglasses i typically don't really use sunglasses or you know anything of these kinds in pokemon games but if you're looking for them here they are they're just in some basic colors though so i mean you know it is what it is the next store is a rough and tough one here. They sell a variety of stuff uh, from like low top sneakers over here in kind of odd colors. I'm, I'm not really taken to any of them particularly. I mean, it's a bit too crazy for my liking. Uh, you do get some here that with different colors. Now, do remember, you can always replace the socks. Like you're obviously probably looking at my gray socks and going like, oh, that doesn't work. Like I like these ones with the blue. It looks really cool. Matches that bag we saw earlier. But there's no way to change the pants, dude. This game is just like, why even have customization options if you can't change the uniform? Who, whose idea was this? Anyway, you have like really shiny gloves as well. Like these are really shiny. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on the, on like the, they are like really shiny. You know, so if you want like really shiny, like, you know, latex looking like gloves, you can, you can get them here. There's some interesting ones here, different colors for the fingerless mittens. The orange one kind of maybe goes with um, the scarlet look, like with the with the pants maybe, with the orange. If you're trying to make it work, you might have to just make colors work with orange for scarlet and probably the purplish color for violet. As for the backpacks, they just have floral prints over here. So if you're looking for some flowers on your bags, that's where to get them. And then you get three types of beanies here. One that's like a rainbow. The other one is like a Pokeballs with like a blue undertone. And then this one looks kind of like spider webs, but it's in yellow, like a yellow Spider-Man beanie. The next store is a fancy one. You can tell by with the fancy high fashion bag on the top out the outside. Everything here is expensive. The first thing you'll notice, everything costs 80,000 here on the sneakers. The store is called Very Sea Dad, top left of the screen in case you need the name. Now, these sneakers are interesting. They're very intricate. Uh, the designs are crazy. Like, like they're, they, they definitely look fancier than the, the usual ones but i mean you're obviously paying for the fanciness so so you can go down here and find sneakers or something that you like they probably have the most interesting stuff like i like these these look really cool like this white and black one over here i think i'm actually might just go ahead and buy this one yeah that one's mine now you'll also be able to get loafers over here to be fair i had no idea that these shoes are called loafers i actually have like a pair of these i did not know they were called loafers i mean to be fair i don't really know what shoes are called in general but but yeah, um, you can get a bunch of them here, different colors, as you can see here. 
There's the monogram silver and the checker. The silver one looks like a chrome style. If we move on to the gloves here, you can check some leather gloves. So these are just leather variants of the gloves, all different colors. Some of them are two-tone here, like black and white, red and white, yellow and white, green and white, etc. If you're looking for fancy backpacks, this is probably where you're going to get them. Though they kind of seem a little bit more feminine than, than I would like, uh, personally. I, I feel like they're a little... They're a little too Gucci for me. <laughs> I, I want something a bit more like, you know, like cool rather than like fancy. So so for me, this doesn't really appeal to me, though the color schemes really works nicely. I might buy one just just to to check. But um, I think, yeah, if, if this is if these are one of the bags that you kind of like or the style you like it, this is where you're going to come get these. Now, what baffles me is the same store that sells all this fancy stuff sw sw swells, sells sweatbands sweatbands they don't even look that nice i i don't know i, I just I, they, they look incredibly weird to me i don't think like the, the, it has so low on the back of his head though why that's so weird i'm not a huge fan aviator sunglasses is what they also have here now this i can get behind i like aviator sunglasses they're really cool so if you like a pair of these um this is where you're going to get those. I recommend like the silver and tan one this is actually one that i bought over here looks kind of cool i really I, I like the style that it's going for now, if you're looking for something like tights and socks, this store here has a lot of options. I can't say that I'm extremely drawn to it because I feel like it looks kind of weird, but you can get other designs out of this. It mainly works with the summer uniform though because all the other uniforms wear long pants. So... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of detail here. I just... I feel like it looks so weird and probably against school code. But if this is something you want to wear, then by all means, this is where you're going to get a bunch of them. Okay, so now that we've done all the clothing stores in Lavincia, we're going to go ahead to Cascarafa, and this is where the water type gym is here. And we're going to go show you what all of the different clothing stores sell in this area. All right, so let's start with the spec shack that is close to the Poké Center that we went to here. Now, if you're looking for different types of glosses, like rounded glosses, you know, all different shapes and sizes, this is the store that you're going to come to for all different glosses. They even have the square ones. If you want the square shaped ones, they are in different colors, like I've shown before, different like, you know, tanned versions on the inside. Oval glosses, if this is the shape that you want. Literally everything glosses. This is this is the store you're going to come to for that. And then the final one is like sporty glosses, which also doesn't really fit in here. It's like just this. It's, it's very weird, but they sell it here too. The next store you're going to see here is Baggins for Cascarafa. And you can get some cool bags here. The nylon backpacks like this one over here that blends so cool into my jacket that is almost not there. I like that. That looks cool. I, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy that one. You can get it in different colors, obviously. And you also get it in different styles here, like the Mimicry one over here, which is like a blue and yellow, a spicy pepper, which is like a green and red, and then a Terra Whale, which is like a pink and white. I don't get the names and the colors. They make no sense. And then you get like options A, which is really cool, by the way. B, black and yellow, really cool. C, also really cool. Also a color scheme I can get behind with the black and white. Now, remember how we got that white beanie at the Mesagosa earlier? Now, this store over here, Capborg, Capborg, Capboré, I, I don't know how to say that word, Capborg, right? They have all the other beanie colors. So if you want that, you can get it here. You can also get square caps, which look like I'm a train conductor. It makes me look like I'm going to collect tickets from people on a train. Like, ticket, please. Ticket, please. <laughs> like, walking down the, the aisle collecting tickets. Right? So they also have, like, these brutal star color combinations over here. And wing fish over here. So if you're looking for this kind of style here, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Ellie fish. Hmm, interesting. So if you like this kind of style of hat here, you have those colors and those three different styles. And then there's something called a bucket hat. I had no idea this was called a bucket hat. I, people in South Africa wear this a lot. It's a very common hat style. Bucket hat. That's what it's called? Really? Damn, okay. So here are the patterns for it. So this one's, oh, it's like, like a galaxy theme. It's also something you see in South Africa a lot. That's so weird. Get galaxy themed bucket hat. Okay. Interesting. So n at least now I know what it's called. And then from here, you're going to take the lift upwards over here, and we're going to go to the next fancy store, the place where they sell the most expensive stuff in the world. This is very kabadabidi, a uh, very sikabadad, very sedad. They sell dazzling tights here. So if you want tights again, 
Here's some three dazzling options. Um, then they have leather backpacks here, very different. Kind of looks like more like handbags, to be honest. Like the, I get a handbag vibe from this. Another Gucci kind of style to the stuff here. If this is what you're looking for and you want your char character to look fabulous with all the stuff, you can get these things here. There's also a few unique designs here. Mini stripes, purple stripes, and pink stripes. So if you're looking for some interesting designs like this or cute ones, here's probably where you're gonna get them. For the hats, you can get berets over here. So these are quite cool. They're not too bad. Never seen a beret in real life before, but they look cool. Let's see. Um, this one here has like little daisies on it. And this one has another type of flower and it's blue. And this one's red with the more daisies on it. Okay. I think the bowler hat, which reminds me of like the 70s, like, you know, like a cruise ship or something, um, which you can get in different styles and colors as well, obviously. So you can, if this is your thing and you want to wear these, that's perfect. The next option are straw hats. So if you're trying to cosplay Luffy, you can probably attempt it here with the red one or so. But uh, other than that, it's just general straw hats in different, you know, like the ribbon basically changes color. The actual hat itself doesn't change. It's just the ribbon. There are some unique patterns to this one, like this one over here, which looks like that. The pattern number two looks like this. They're not bad looking. I kind of like them. They look cool. It's just not my kind of vibe. The black one's quite cool. And then for glosses, you got cat eye sunglasses, which uh, is this like referring to the little pointy ends at the top or what does cat eye actually mean? for sunglasses, I don't know. But you get different colors and the mirrored options and stuff like this in case you are interested in wearing glasses, something like this. Now further down the road, we have Seguro style or Seguro style, and you can get fingerless gloves here in different colors. So if you're looking for some fingerless gloves, I honestly, I like the ones over here. They they have a, a much nicer look. So I bought the white ones, which have like the black on the inside, white on the outside. And as you can see here, they're all two-tone, basically. The color just depicts or says what color is in the outside. So it's always going to be black on the inside. And the color you choose is the color for the outside. I like it. It looks cool. And then here you're going to get some interesting helmets. Low kicks helmet. Like So you're going to get like a bunch of like motorbike looking ass helmets. Really cool stuff here. So many different options. So if you want to wear a helmet with your school uniform, you can get them here. I mean, I was going to be like, why do we have helmets? I'm like, well, we are riding, you know, Koraidon and Miraidon, but and everybody else rides that other Pokemon. I forget its name. The orange one actually kind of goes with the uniform. I'm not going to lie. The orange one kind of fits in. I wouldn't be opposed to wearing it. The other colors, however, feel really like, like the odd one out. It doesn't match the uniform at all. As you scroll down, you'll get to the full face helmet. So you get to this one over here. I hate how this one looks. It, it looks like I'm going to go into the ocean and I'm it, it looks like that ocean helmet. You know, that, that like ocean suit that people go into and they go like, you know, deep diving, walking on the bottom of the, the ocean floor. That's that's what it looks like they're wearing here. You do get it in different colors and styles here. The Mimicry Cry one over here. You have a city style, which doesn't really shout city to me. Spicy pepper, which is green. Also, I was expecting red. You have the cool helmet, which is like the Doft Punk kind of style over here. Very interesting idea. We'll buy one just in case. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the style, though. It looks kind of weird, but this is where you're going to be getting them if you are into this kind of helmet style, just to show you what's available at this store. Below this, you have the Retro Jet helmet. Okay, and then you have the Off-Road helmet, which also kind of looks cool. I like this one. This one looks neat. I'll take that one. Looks pretty cool. It's like the off-road kind of like, you know, biker helmet. It's 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 quite cool. You got the black one too. The black one also looks nice. I like it. That's really cool. There's th we're only halfway through this list. There's more helmets in this game than there are clothing options in general, I think. Like th there's <laughs> there's so many helmet options. Why are there so many helmet options? That's so weird. Couldn't they just give us uniform options as well, dude? Please, one day? Now you'll be happy to know or surprised to know that there is actually a typing style for every single off-road helmet. You can get it in rock, ice, dark, fairy, all 18 types, whatever typing is your favorite, you can get a helmet that depicts that typing. So if that's something you want, you can also get it here. If you're looking for unique colors, like this rainbow one here, which is interesting, there's another one, which is like that. What do they call this design again? Like with the sparkly things, I, I forget. And cycling helmet. Now we have dwelled into cycling helmet. Like I, I'm not a huge fan of this one, to be honest. I feel like it looks weird. But if you want a cycling helmet, here they are, as I said before. They are also available in different types of patterns, as you can see here, though I'm not 
kind of interested in any of them. Moving on down the elevator, we're going to go into the next store, Rough and Tough. Now, Rough and Tough is going to have a bunch of different items here, mainly crew socks, which you can get like different colored crew socks, which is pretty cool. There's also some printed tights. Again, if you want to wear tights, this one has more of a design on it. I'm not going to really take off my pants to show you again. Sounds a bit weird saying that sentence. You can get engineer boots here, which is actually something I bought early on in the game that I thought were quite cool um, in different patterns and styles here. Very kind of like you know, rough looking style. I kind of like some of them. They look really cool. Again, really wishing I could change my uniform to match the boots. But anyway, you also get dress shoes in here as well. So if you want some dress shoes, which are very colorful, you can get them here. The gloves are driving gloves. So if you know anything about golf, they, they're kind of like those kind of style of gloves here. Different solid colors, as you can tell. And then you might like these gloves over here, the fingerless gloves, which have like the skeleton like print on the on the hands, like the knuckles and everything. Looks quite cool. Very Halloween style. I like it. It looks pretty cool. I actually bought myself uh, the black pair, I think. As for the backpacks at the store, they sell three of them here. I don't like the first one, the red, blue and white. But then there's this one that's like the black, gray and white. Looks kind of cool. Have owned it and wore it for most of the game. And then you got a blue, yellow, white. Also not crazy about it. Then you get these sporty caps over here. You get the three starters, the, you know, the Sprigatito, the Quaxley, and the Fuyo Fuyo Coco, Fuyo Coco, Fuyo Coco, dude, that, Fuyo Coco, Fuyo Coco, Fuyo Coco, dude. Fedoras, they sell fedoras. I'm moving on, okay? We're going to forget that name. And then the fedoras also come in different color styles here, which is like a bright purple called purple cackle, a red cackle. And then one called a green cackle, which is actually more of a, a bluish green. The next door is the sock one, the sock quarter, right? So they sell some socks here in all different colors. Some of them are really cool. Like, you know, if you want some plain socks, this is the place to get them. You know, socks that just look good. I actually got a pair here that was really nice. So you get these like two-tone colored ones here. You can see here, if you look just between like my the bottom of my pants and the and the shoes. You get like the different little colors over here. You get the Starry Crew socks, which is like these stars like into the socks, which is a little an interesting design if you want socks that have like little pictures of stars on them. It's, it's not so bad. The colorful ones over here, as you can see, they go into a different vibe here. The black and red, pretty cool. The dark blue and, and cyan blue, a yellow and something. And then there is a, a white and gray. That is exactly what I would wear because white and gray is like the, my whole vibe of my character. So we're going to go for D for the colorful crew socks, D. And then you get frilly ones, which I'm guessing are just like frilly socks. I don't know. The socks don't really get shown a lot, depending on what uniform you're wearing and what types of shoes you're wearing. Okay, and then you get more tights here, just plain color tights if you're looking for, for just solid plain colors for your tights if you're wearing like the summer uniform. The final store is Zapeldea, Zapeldea footwear. They sell engineer boots. So if you like these big masculine looking boots, they, they're really cool. I like them. I used them at the beginning of the game quite a lot. Really nice, really nice ones. They have some dress shoes as well and different options. Now you'll notice some of them are similar to the other ones at the other store, but these ones just have like different designs or like the, the solid colors. But if you scroll down, you'll also go into the area of sandals. So if you want some sandals, you can get sandals here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's the only place I think I've seen that can get you a nice fresh pair of sandals, which I actually wear all the time in real life. And then flip flops, which you can you can use as well with with socks. Doesn't look comfortable wearing flip flops with socks, but it's it's all right. You do you, man. You do you. And this is pretty much all we have. I know this was a really long video, but if you did watch it to see what kind of clothes you can buy in the game to save yourself for the trouble from checking every store yourself, that is everything that I think you should know about that you can get in the world. There are some unique items that you can get from various places, like, you know, for beating the, the ace tournament or, you know, completing your Pokédex or, you know, random stuff like that. Um, you get, like, special caps and whatnot, but nothing too crazy. Ultimately, I hope this video helped you, and thank you so much for watching.